I'm going to start. My name is Valerie Wolf. In listening to the testimony today, it all sounds really familiar. I am here to talk about a possible link between radiation and mind control experimentation that began in the late 1940s. The main reason that mind control research is being mentioned is because people are alleging that they were exposed as children to mind control, radiation, drugs, and chemical experimentation, which were administered by the same doctors who are known to have been involved in conducting both radiation and mind control research. Written documentation has been provided revealing the names of people and the names of research projects in statements from people across the country. It is also important to understand that mind control techniques and follow-ups into adulthood may have been used to intimidate these particular research subjects into not talking about their victimization in government research. As a therapist for the past 22 years, I have specialized in treating victims and perpetrators of trauma and their families. When word got out that I was appearing at this hearing, nearly 40 therapists across the country, and I had about a week and a half to prepare, contacted me to talk about clients who had reported being subjects in radiation and mind control experiments. The consistency of people's stories about the purpose of the mind control and pain induction techniques such as electric shock, use of hallucinogens, sensory deprivation, hypnosis, dislocation of limbs, and sexual abuse is remarkable. There is almost nothing published on this aspect of mind control used with children, and these clients come from all over the country having had no contact with each other. What was startling was that therapists reported many of these clients were also physically ill with autoimmune problems, thyroid problems, multiple sclerosis, and other muscle and connective tissue diseases, as well as mysterious ailments for which a diagnosis cannot be found. While somatization disorder is commonly found in these clients, many of the clients who've been involved in the human experimentation with the government have multiple medically documented physical ailments. And I was really shocked today to hear one of the speakers talk about the cysts and the teeth breaking off because I have a client that that's happening to. Many people are afraid to tell their doctors their histories as mind control subjects for fear of being considered to be crazy. These clients have named some of the same people, particularly a Dr. Green who was associated with clients' reports of childhood induction of pain, mind control techniques, and childhood sexual abuse. One of my clients who had seen him with a name tag identified him as Dr. L. Wilson Green. A person with this same name was the scientific director of the chemical and radiological laboratories at the Army Chemical Center and that he was engaged in doing research for the Army and other intelligence agencies. Other names that have come to light are Dr. Sidney Gottlieb and Dr. Martin Orn, who it is reported were also involved in radiation research. It needs to be made clear that people have remembered these names and events spontaneously with free recall and without the use of any memory retrieval techniques such as hypnosis. As much as possible, we have tried to verify the memories with family members, records, and experts in the field. Many attempts have been made through Freedom of Information Act filings to gain access to the mind control research documentation. These requests have generally been slowed down or denied, although some information has been obtained, which suggests that at least some of the information supplied by these clients is true. It is important that we obtain all of the information contained in the CIA and military files to verify or deny our clients' memories. Although many of the files for MK Ultra may have been destroyed, Whatever is left, along with the files for other projects, such as Bluebird and Artichoke, to name only two, contain valuable information. Furthermore, if, as the evidence suggests, some of these people were used in radiation experiments, there might be information in the mind control experiment files on radiation experiments. We need this information to help in the rehabilitation and treatment of many people who have severe psychological and medical problems 
which interfere with their social, emotional, and financial well-being. <coughs> Finally, I urge you to recommend an investigation into these matters. Although there was a commission on mind control, it did not include, include experiments on children because most of them were too young or still involved in the research in the late 1970s to come forward. The only way to end the harassment and suffering of these people is to make public what has happened to them in the mind control experiments. Please recommend that there be an investigation and that the files be opened on the mind control experiments as they related to children. Thank you. Thank you. And Good afternoon. 